Okay, this is what you're going to do. If you don't know, you can rack a power clean correctly. Lots of people claim they can't rack a power clean correctly. They post some form check video with this horrible rack like this, or like this, you know, all sorts of weird stuff. Um, and then half the time people will tell me they can't rack a PVC correctly or a broomstick correctly. Okay, dude, I can't either, okay? Unless I like jam it under my chin, which you don't do on a power plane, why would you practice with this? Because you can't actually do it correctly. Um, at a minimum, use a real barbell. And basically, I probably want you to put weight on the bar because lots of people can't actually rack an empty bar in an awesome front rack position, but that doesn't mean that once there's weight on the bar, it doesn't get better and actually help you stretch and get into the right position. So all I want you to do is this, get into a front rack position like you're going to front squat, but just don't front squat. Here, this is where I should be. My elbows are up, the bar is not in my hand, it's on my fingers, and basically I should be able to do this and the large stays on my delts. I'm not going to walk it in with this with weight, but basically that's all it is. I'm going to get into a front rack position. I either can do this, or I literally can't. Like, if you're someone who the bar is, like, here, then, you know, what can I say? You're absolutely not going to power clean. You're probably going to power snatch. But seriously, load up the bar with... I'm saying at least 60 kilos or 135 pounds, preferably like 70 or 80 kilos, um, to see if you can actually do this. Because if you can rack it and you still have a, like kind of a crappy rack, as you warm up, all you want to do is basically do this and stretch. Okay? So that is going to show me whether or not you can actually correctly rack a power plane.